Hello, my beautiful people. Hello, my beautiful people. I am angry, angry Jack. Jack, don't be angry. Why is he not focusing? <laughs> I am making some meal for the bees. They are hungry. And it's gonna be a long time until they can gather significant amount of nectar from nature. So I am making a syrup made of sugar and honey. I actually want it to be warm when I get the bees, then it's easier for them to eat it, so we have to hurry up. No matches. Ah, a swan just uh, flew over. It's so cool right now. It's the spring migration time in, on the island and there are so many birds. So, so many. I am so happy. Um, uh, it's crazy. All the birds are going up to Scandinavia there. They stop here and super cool. Oh, how I love the sm smell of the smoker. It smells like a uh, home. <laughs> I don't know. Have been around that my whole life and uh, especially like putting it on in the spring for the first time. It's like so nice. I also like the smell of like honey and propolis and beeswax and so nice. But yeah, here's my bees. This is the other beehive that I have. And 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 this is the one that I use for my apitherapy so I get my bees from here. It's close to home. It's a very bad place for the bees. I like there isn't much to gather. So I just keep them alive by giving them food. Like I don't take honey from here, I just take the bees, you know. Give me one second. <laughs> Being a little bit clumsy here with the smoker.
So the site was still warm, I gave them the food. I really believe that what you do right now, like in March, in April, is going to determine how good of a crop you're going to get, like how much honey you're going to get in the summer, because like this is so important that they get like a good start and the queen starts laying eggs and there is enough food. So if you like give them like, like fake food, like you let them, you make them think that, oh, there is like, nectar coming in, then the queen is like, okay, then we can have a bigger family. So let's lay more eggs so we can have more bees because we can, uh, we can provide for them food right now. So it's like a good, good trick to use. And uh, also like this hive would have died uh, we, if I didn't give any extra food. For some reason, uh, there just wasn't enough. And I always give so much in the fall, but I don't know. You live, you learn. Anyways, I just learned also that uh, there is a big ant nest right there. It's like so close to my hive and the ants can kill the hive in like a few days if they discover it, especially now that I brought them sugar. The ants can smell it for far away and might attack the hive. And I'm like, I'm like, really, really like, how is it possible? I brought this hive here last summer. How is it possible that I did not see that ant nest? It's like so big. I sometimes really think like what is wrong with my brain like how do I perceive the world world like I really live in my own world sometimes and I'm just like blind to everything that is <laughs> happening around it's like not even funny uh, so the ants like are uh, dangerous until uh, usually until the leaves come to the trees then they have enough food everywhere else that they don't care about the hives anymore so I just have to keep like really close eye on them uh, if they're gonna start attacking or not. Right now there haven't, there hasn't been any signs. Uh, so yeah, but like I'm just like not very impressed with myself. Uh, sometimes I feel like I walk with my eyes closed or something. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, let's uh, head to the other hives because you have to drive there and hives hive and uh, and we want the cider to be warm right <laughs> so who wouldn't like warm food <laughs> who likes the cold food nobody right so let's try to be nice to my bees and uh, deliver the food on time <laughs> Ah! Hackers! These bees are really mean. I need to change their queen. Oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> Eat and be happy. They're probably mean because they're hungry. I come with a peace offering of food. <laughs> yeah. Let's run away from the crazy bees. Let's, let's call those the crazy bees. The other ones are my friends. These are the crazy bees. <laughs> uh, 
I don't take honey from the other bees, so they are friendly with me, and these bees are mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> Can we all just take a moment and look at Jack's face? <laughs> Are you disappointed in me, Jack? Oh, you hate the bees, don't you? I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry to brought you here. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Not judging me at all. Oh my god, this bee is trying to sting me. But it's not happening. <laughs> I need a napkin, I don't have napkins. Oh, I do have a napkin. Okay. Uh, every time I come back to the car, I have few bees on me. And Jack is disappointed in me. <laughs> but yeah, I think what is happening here? Uh, that bee is like dead because it tried to sting me. Bees die after this thing. Whew. These are mean bees. And uh, I'm definitely going to change the queen. They are... Uh, not the type of bees I want. We have buckfast bees who are supposed to be super friendly. That's the whole point of having buckfast bees. They are nice bees. <laughs> oh my god, look at the sun. Oh. <laughs> the spring sun is the best. And I can still hear somebody buzzing here. I don't know. Well, now I'm happy anyways, because now they have like uh, enough food for a while. And it's said it's going to get warm in the weekend. Right now it's 8 degrees. It's cold wind though. Wait, let me let that crazy bee out. <coughs> Go fly home! Bees can see the glass and then they get confused on the glass and fly against it like crazy. Oh! Another one! I'm sorry, Jack. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there was also a bee back there, where Jack was. Trying to get through the glass. Jack was really annoyed. It's um, the reason why I usually don't take Jack, because I don't know where the bees come from. Like, they are on me. Another one. They're usually like on the back, or on my back or something where I don't see them and then I bring them in and and Jack does not like them. Uh, but that's why I usually don't want to take Jack, but right now we are going somewhere. So I wanted to have Jack with me. We are going to go to our um, honey farm or <laughs> summer house. I don't even know what to call it. Uh, because um, right now is the maple sap season. So... There is a lot of delicious maple sap coming out of the trees and my brother came just for a weekend and wanted to take some maple sap and for some reason he felt like he needs to put five maples <laughs> to drip so we have like so much maple sap now and uh, <laughs> it's funny because I always said that my dad has a uh, Magnosa grandiosa <laughs> Like we, we say it in Estonia, we say Suurus hullustus is when um, you uh, everything you do, you do, you do big, like you do too much, you buy too much, you uh, take too much to do, everything is like big, it has to be big. <laughs> and my dad definitely has that, and you have always laughed about it. And it's just who he is, you know, he doesn't have sometimes a realistic sense or it might have been also because there were six kids of us, so you always needed a lot of what, everything. You always needed to also think ahead. Uh, it was also like, you know, the Soviet times, so, you know, there wasn't much to get. So when there was things available, you took in bulk, so you, you could have for the years. 
to come because you didn't know, you know. Well, anyways, so he has that and we have just all accepted it. It is what it is. But now when I saw my brother put five trees to drip and I went to take the maple sap and there was like 50 liters of it. And I was like, what the hell am I going to do with it, you know? And I was, I was like laughing that he also got the disease, disease, I don't know what's it called. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's super delicious and healthy and I already want to drink it. So let's go. <laughs> Done with the bees. I'm happy they have their food and uh, so happy to visit them. Um, today was windy. I got cheated with the forecast again. <laughs> it's eight degrees. So, you know, oh no, there's one on my head. Ah, see? It tried to sting me. <laughs> what I'm gonna do with you? Go fly, don't die today. You are too young to die. <laughs> they try to sting you, but if they can't do it, they can take the sting back, you know, because they didn't touch. Um, so then they don't die. Oh! And now I hear another one. Okay, let's just start driving and yeah, go get some maple sap. <laughs> Ta-da! This is my maple sap station. <laughs> so I have a system basically. Mosquitoes went to the inside of this. Hey! You're messing up my system, mosquitoes. <laughs> In the winter, nobody lives here, so there is no water here. All right, so this is our summer house. And I used to spend all of my summers here as a child. Back there, you can see a long greenhouse. My dad built it. My dad is a bit crazy with the greenhouse. <laughs> It was like uh, half of the size and then he said we need to make it longer so we can keep some stuff in there. Then I built it longer with my sisters and then he just put more grapes in it instead of the stuff that we're supposed to be start holding there, you know, like low mo mowers and stuff like that. He just <laughs> planted it all full of... Uh, all full of... Uh, <laughs> all full of um, grapes and tomatoes and stuff like that so yeah it's 24 meters long <laughs> but anyways yeah here is the maple sap <laughs> nice that you are not on the way jack <laughs> this is my maple sap station so this is i used to take the maple sap i have like the whole system figured out <laughs> So this is we're gonna use to just make sure nothing bad goes inside. Have this. I don't know what's it called. No. System is very good. <laughs> we just gotta put it in a bottle. Here it's dripping, 
you can see it is dripping right now so it's still coming which is nice Oh, that's 1.5 liters. Uh, I think the maple is stopping right now because it's not producing so much anymore. But uh, actually, let me try it. Yeah, it's not as sweet anymore as it used to be, but it's still super yummy. So let's fill up all the bottles. If you're wondering why Jack is parking, it's because uh, he has this car tire that every time we come here he has to go and try to kill it and park at it and I will show you, it's funny. This is the summer house. Hundred years, over hundred years old house. Pretty cool. The roof has too much moss on it, but anyways. <laughs> you look pretty happy with yourself, Jack. <laughs> Let's see what happens if you try to take it from Jack. <laughs> Kill it. Kill it, Jack. <laughs> Um, so, I want to show you something. This one. Do you know what that is? This is where the hazelnuts come from. And uh, it is blooming right now. So, hazelnut has those smallest, like super tiny, red little blossoms. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> And uh, oh, uh, <laughs> and uh, I don't have my macro lens to show you. Like I don't think I can show it to you with this camera because they are super, super tiny, but very pretty. And one of the first things that start to bloom. So it's like a sign of spring. It's super cool. And the bees come to get some get some food from it. It's one of the first sources, but. Usually it's so cold that they, they can fly, but if it would be like super warm day, they could come and collect some yummy yummy. <laughs> this one is almost full. But it's also a bigger tree, so makes sense.
Oh, this is very sweet. It's interesting, every tree has different taste. The bigger they are, the sweeter and more makes all the sense in the world. Well, anyways, I am gonna freeze it now because it's super good to drink in the summer and uh, it tastes just like the fresh one and we have this huge ice chest <laughs> freezer uh, so we have room there so I'm just gonna put most of them in the freezer because we got so much but this this one is coming home with me I'm so gonna drink it Seventeen liters. You got seventeen liters. Huh? Well, you want to try some, Jack? <laughs> That's pretty good. Seventeen liters. But yeah, last time I came, no, two <laughs> in like a week ago, I got fifty liters, and then I was like, "What the hell? I'm gonna do with it?" And then I went to the store, buy, bought some bottles because we ran out already all of the bottles, and then. Uh, I put them in the freezer and I went to my friend, I went to Tallinn and I told my friend, hey, do you want some maple sap? She was like, yeah, I would love some. And I was like, great, I'm going to bring you 10 liters. <laughs> she loved it, of course, but it was just like, you know, <laughs> good surprise for her, I think. But yeah, let's take this to the freezer and, and, and then go home. <laughs> Hello dog, what do you have to say? What do you have to say? <laughs> Tell us some wisdom. One piece of cheese every two hours is good for your heart and soul. <laughs> is that true Jack? Of course it is a knowledge has, that has been passed on from generations. And look how beautiful and smart we are. It must be because of the cheese. So, go and bring me some. So, I was uh, supposed to go home now, but uh, it's so nice outside. And I've been sitting in front of the computer for three days in a row, editing like from morning to evening. And I'm like so sick of it. Like I'm gonna throw up just thinking about it. This computer life is really not for me. And now I come out and it's like this beautiful, Spring day, oh, I'm bright, <laughs> and the sun is so nice on the face. And uh, there are first signs of spring, you know, the hazelnuts are blooming, and some plants are coming out of the grass. And I already saw some flowers, some first spring flowers, and even the maple sap, you know. Uh, but, anyways, yeah, I'm just like enjoying this so much right now, and uh, the computer is literally the last thing that I want to see right now but I still have such a big backlog of things that I need to edit so I really need to get it done before you know it gets so beautiful outside that I just can't stay away and then you know I'm just never gonna edit <laughs> so yeah it's been like the, the struggle always editing has been the struggle because I don't know I just don't enjoy it as much actually it's not that bad I do like it a lot also, but not when I have to do it the whole day. <laughs> like two hours or three hours a day 
would be good. Which would actually be like manageable if I could like split my time better. So, you know, today I had this walk and I went to the bees and now I can go and do three hours or four hours of computer work and then, you know, I could try to like balance those things better. <laughs> but I have like no computer days and then like all I do is like sit in front of the computer and then it's like messes with my brain. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just gonna take a little walk and see if I can see more signs of the spring and then uh, I guess I'm gonna go back to edit. <laughs> so I just stopped the car because I was driving home and the sun was so nice that I felt like I wanna stop the car just to have the sun warm my face. It feels so nice and I can't open my eyes because it's like so bright. But there's something special about the sun in the spring when it touches your face. It's like, um, I don't even know what to, how to describe it, but there is a little couple of swans over there. <laughs> and this is such an idyllic like island moment right now. And when I was uh, taking the maple sap, I remember that five years ago, I took Jack to Hiyuma for the first time. So it's the end of March and I brought Jackie. Jackie? Oh, Jackie! I brought Jackie with me <laughs> to uh, see his, his uh, new home for the first time. So Don't mind me talking, eyes closed. And uh, it was exactly what we were doing. We were taking maple sap and he was... No, he. Damn it. He was so small, he was so cute little puppy and we had been together maybe like a week or something and we came here for the first time. I remember it so well and then he woke me up at 6 o'clock, I think it was even before the 6 o'clock. But he woke me up and he was just like so excited and I was like come on Jack it's 6 o'clock. Let's go back to sleep but Jack was just like I want to play, I want to do everything. So full of life. So excited for everything. So I was like, okay, let's go and see the sunshi sunshine, see the sunrise. And we went outside the walk. And it was so nice. I remember that. Um, oh my god, a car. Are there other people here? <laughs> um, we went uh, and I let Jack go off the leash for the first time. And uh, I think first time for his life, really. Like, uh, go in the nature. Oh, two huge uh, geese just flew over. That's so cool. Um, but yeah, Jack ran for the first time and uh, my heart melted at that moment. I was just so happy to see it because he was so happy. And you know, like, I feel like having dogs on the leash, I understand why we do it and everything, but it's like so unnatural for them. And to see him like be connected and be wild, to be free in the nature for the first time, it was so special moment. I am gonna remember for the rest of my life probably. And and I just yeah, I got all those flashbacks of uh, little Jack running around in Hiyama for the first time. And we stopped here. I remember I was taking birds of the swan, uh, birds of the swans, pictures of the swans, and I told Jack to wait in the car. And then Jack like. Um, uh, came to look out of the car, it was so adorable. <laughs> I had this picture and, and yeah, that was our first time ever on the island and uh, the rest is history, but yeah, just wanted to share because uh, the maple sap like just brought it, all the memories back. But yeah, I'm gonna just, you know, stay here for a few moments. Well, and I think I understand if I don't get much done in my life, that this is the reason why. Literally, there is not one cell in my body that wants to go back to the, back to the inside. <laughs> so, so nice. It's like 10 degrees right now. It's the warmest day it has been, like, this year. So, hmm.